Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, our little playthrough of Until Dawn. This is part 8, and uh, I don't know if you remember, last time we, uh, we left off with uh, Mike and Jess on their way to the little cabin, and uh, they were having a little snowball fight, and then suddenly Jessica disappeared from us, and we heard a loud scream, and that's all she wrote, so let's, let's get back in there and do this. Obviously back with Sam here, back in the house or in the big, big cabin, and uh, we don't have hot water. That much is apparent. Let's have a little look, look around and see here. You want to be thorough. Lots of soaps. Let's let's see. Well, what was that? All right. She obviously saw or heard something. I. Can't say that I did, but I have to believe her. I guess we're upstairs now. Because she went upstairs to the bathroom. I don't think we've been here before. Alright, a tattoo card is a new clue. March 18, 2013, 9.30 a.m. Someone went to get a tattoo, apparently. <gasps> oh, Hannah's stuff. Ah, oh, this is Hannah's old room. One of the, uh, one of the girls. One of the twins. That's nice. Not creepy at all. It's a present from Josh. What was that? Dear Hannah. Dear Hannah, I would be delighted if you could attend my awesome party at 7 p.m. on the 13th of July 2013 at the location of Casa de Mike, <laughs> my house, RSVP. Okay. Gee, Hannah, crush much? No. Yeah, well, she did have a crush on him. Remember that from the opening scene. M M plus H W Hannah plus Maya. There you go. Mostly C's. Uh oh, this is not going to work. He's like a crazy, reckless hunk of a man, and you're staying at home working your embroidery and practicing G minor on the piano. Give it up. No, give up on it. Or something like really wild. 
run away from home or get a tattoo or something. Uh, that, that could be where the tattoo comes into play. Anything to attract this precious attention. I mean, it's for live, right? So just do it. <laughs> so Hannah was pretty, uh, pretty hung up on Mike, I guess. We knew that already. Kind of weird to be here snooping around someone else's stuff. Especially a nice bed. Especially this girl, one of the girls. Hannah, Josh, and Beth, you are invited to Sam's Halloween party, October 31st, 2013. Fancy dress obligatory. Okay. A mother clue postcard. We're finding a lot of clues here. Let's uh let's have a look at those clues, shall we? So there's a new car there's a new clue here, postcard. Found in the Washington Lodge, an invitation for a Halloween party with, with a creepy picture of a scarecrow on the other side. This is actually the picture that we were shown earlier, uh earlier in the story. They were they were asking me if I find if I found it scary or or nice or something I can't remember correctly. Seemed kind of nice. There's a bunch of clues here. We may have missed the first two here. From prom night photo found in Washington Lodge, a photo of Hannah, Sam, Mike, and Emily at the high school prom. Ready for the senior prom. All right. We've already seen the uh, family portrait, and there's a tattoo card. Hannah had an appointment to get a tattoo. She chose a butterfly design. Oh, interesting. Johan D. Smith, tattoo artist. And then the uh, compatibility test. We're not going to read all that again, but uh, well, we can read up a little bit. A screwed up magazine quiz. It looks like Hannah wasn't happy with the answer she got. It's an indication of her emotional state on the night of the twins' disappearance. Yeah, that could be. Alright. A lot of information here. Our main objective was to try and get heat for the, uh, for the bath, for the water. Any more uh, clues here? No. Still upstairs. Let's see here. Wow, well, here's the whole gang. Could there be something lying on the floor there? No. There's a nice overhead view. Keeping them in check. All right, Nina Geller, you know what? I got an idea for you too. What? I guess they're trying to get Ashley and Josh hooked up down there, making it embarrassing for everyone. Let's go down and let's go down and say hi. She looks cold. Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time. Me and 
Well, Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? So we're going down to the uh, boiler room. Apparently, he wants us to go there. I want to check out some things here first. Yeah, this is all the same stuff that we were looking at earlier in the story. We'll just follow him for now. Even though it does look tempting to have a look. Yeah, it's a bit strange that we have missed two clues already. I thought I was being thorough, but guess not. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Yeah, uh, mocking, Chris needs to go for it, or flattering, they are sweet together. Well, they are sweet together. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> A status update, so uh, let's check that. Current objective follow Josh to get the boiler working, and uh, that's what we're gonna do after we snoop around a bit more. August 13, Cape Cod. Josh with his lovely sisters Hannah Beth. Looking great, guys. It's the 16th of August, 2013. So uh, let's uh, investigate that one a bit further. So clue two. There you go. There's the second clue. Beach photo. Found in the Washington Lodge. A photo of Josh, Hannah, and Beth on the beach. It was taken the summer before they disappeared. Okay. So a lot of focus on, of course... Obviously, there's a lot of focus on the girls and Josh, so. It's their place and all, so. I'm gonna have a little bit of a look around. Still interested in getting my hands on all the clues. I don't think. No. Obviously not. So, I guess I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, when we come back, we'll be uh, we'll be going down to the boiler room with uh, with Josh. Should be interesting. See you then.